All right. So you don't have to have shoes, but if you have them, that's fine. And we're going to start on our backs. Have some light weights nearby. No more than five pounds for this particular um, series right now. If that's all you have, five pounds or up, that's fine. You can also use body weight. So for our beginning, and I know some people can only stay for a little bit of time, so we'll make sure that you um, are good. So take your arms up and take your legs up 90 degrees. All right, I'm trying to get my, my watch. Nothing wants to work today, guys. All right. So the knees are 90%, 90%, 90 degrees bent. And the arms are up over your shoulders. You don't have to hold any weights right now. So we're just going to do um, right arm, left leg, and left arm, right leg a couple times. All right? So draw your belly in. Draw your ribs down. Keep your spine imprinted into the floor. So as you lower the right arm behind you, lower the left leg in front of you, and you can keep it bent, and then bring it back up, and then switch sides. All right, so we're going to do just about four of those. So four more of those. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Good. Alternating side. Don't move from the knee, move from the hip. So the angle of your knee shouldn't change unless you straighten it out. So we're not just kicking the heel to the butt. All right, one more time on each side. Now let's go ahead and do both arms and legs together at the same time. Take both arms down, both legs down, and bring them back up. And do that again. So as you move out of your hips, keep the belly pulled in. Keep the arms getting some action. We're going to use this action again in other work with the arms and possibly with the legs. All right, got five more of these. Again, move out of your hip, not your knee. When you bring your arms back, make sure the ribs stay tucked down. Three more. Two more. Don't kick from your heels, so one more. Good, bring your knees in. If you have light weights nearby, you can go up to five pounds here, but um, again, I wouldn't go more, but you can um, stick with five pounds or less. Arms are back up, and we're gonna do the same thing, alternating arm and leg with weight as the weight, as the arm pulls back overhead, that's why you don't want too heavy of a weight. All right, so in three, we'll go in two, in one. Right arm, left leg, or whichever arm you're doing, whichever side you're doing. This is one. Two. So really think about pulling your belly button to your spine. Your pelvic floor muscles lift up and in. That's three. And four. So this is, you know, a lot of shoulder hip mobility. It's also a lot of core. Five, halfway there. Five more, <clears throat> excuse me. Four more. So we're gonna be doing the same arm movement in a few moments with another hip movement. Two more. Well, let's go here, two more. Gotta remember which side I started on. And the other side. Good, bring your arms and legs in. Okay. So we're going to come into now a bridge. So if you want a band, you can put the band above your knee or above your ankle. You choose. If you're not using a band, I'm not. Um, bring your arms up over your shoulders. Lift your hips in the air. Lift your right leg in the air. Hold your right leg in the air. Let's take the opposite arm. Take the left arm behind you and bring it in. But you're going to also lower the left, the right leg. All right, so it's like a, it's like a bird, um, a bird dog or a, a dead bed, but we're uh, elevated in our hips, okay? So you're in a bridge the whole time. Arms up, right leg up, hips up, in three, right leg and left arm move. Two and go. Ten. Nine. So your left leg is working here. Three, left glute. Four, opposite arm leg. Five, left arm moves, right leg moves. You're in a bridge. Six, get your hips in a bridge and lower the leg and lower the arm behind you. Seven, three more. Three, 
three, two, and one. Lower your hips, lower your arms. Take your left leg in the air, arms up, hips up in three, two, and one. Let's go, left leg, right arm, one. If you're on the other leg, it's fine. Other arm, two, three. Keep your hips up. Four, they're gonna wanna sink down. Five, six, seven, eight, two more, one more, and lower your hips. Take both arms up. You can have the arms holding together so the weights are together. Lift your hips up, hold your hips up, bring the arms behind the head, and then lower everything back down. All right, you got 10 of those. In three, start up. Two, one, let's go. Overhead, and one. Two. Three, say, I've got the power. Four, for anyone interested tomorrow, it's a 90s aerobics version of Sculpt and Flow at Yoga 6, 10.30. Seven, so if you're on this video, you have to come into the studio. <laughs> Eight, nine, and 10, bring it all the way down. All right, bring your knees into your chest and do that little spinal twist that's so nice after. All right, coming back up. Now, I never mentioned this, but I know Rosemary has them. Uh, if you like ankle weights, feel free to put those on. I think Cindy wears them too. You can put an ankle weight on. If not, you can keep a band on above your knee, below, above your ankle, or no band at all, just body weight. So we're gonna go to our hands and knees. Well, if you need to go up to your um, bench, that's fine. Come to your hands and knees, or forearms and knees. We're gonna send the right leg back behind you. Square the hips. You're gonna lift the leg up, cross it over the left leg, lift it up, and bring it up to your elbow. So you're on your forearms, all right? So it's the same leg, it lifts, it crosses, it lifts, and it goes to your knee, uh, to your elbow, knee to elbow, all right? Let me just see where we're doing that with, okay. So, Forearms down, elbows under shoulders. Lift up your pelvic floor muscles. Tuck your left toes under for stability. Stretch your right leg back and level out your hips. In three, we'll lift the leg. Two, in one. Up, cross, up, into your shoulders, one. Up, cross, up, into your shoulder is two. Up, cross, up, into your shoulder. Yeah, you can do it standing. Just don't move your hips around a lot. Four, cross, up, knee to elbow, five, cross, up, knee to elbow, six, up, cross, seven, eight, nine, and 10, hold it here, pulse of 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, don't sink to the left hip. Two, one, knee down, and have a seat back. Child's pose. All right. Come back to your forearms. Tuck the right toes under for balance and stability. Left leg back behind you. Flex the foot, keep the hips squared. Try not to put your weight into your right neck, right shoulder, and right hip. All right, three, two, one. Up, cross, up, knee to elbow, one. Up, cross, up, knee to elbow is two. Up, cross, by the way, the leg doesn't have to touch down ever, three. Up, cross, up, knee to elbow, four. Up, cross, up, knee to elbow, five. Five more, up, cross, knee to elbow, six. Up, cross, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Pulse it in for ten, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and six. Child's pose. All right, come on to your forearm plank. Forearm plank, that means your legs are straight behind you. We're just gonna glide forward of our shoulders, so we'll be rolling on our toes and our elbows. Arms out, shoulders width apart. Step your legs back, shoulders over elbows, and three, two, we move. We glide forward and back, one, two. Don't lift your hips up, three. Just move through your shoulders, four, don't use your arms, five. In other words, you're not just pulling yourself in. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come down to your belly, get a good stretch in the front of your body. All right, push back to your heels. Come up into a downward facing dog. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. And we're gonna, okay, so in your downward facing dog, open up your right hip. You're gonna extend and bend the leg. So if you're wearing a band, it's gonna probably be a little tricky, but um, open up your hip. Try not to lean into your left side. We're gonna open and kick right side first. So you can do this on your bench. Um, and then we'll go on to moving some other stuff. Um, keep a ball nearby, the small ball nearby, just for, for whatever. All right, downward facing dog, toes tucked under, hips up in the air, right leg up in the air, open your right hip. Square your shoulders, square your hips, extend and bend the leg. So we kick and bend, kick and two, three, four, five, six. So it's a rotated hip, seven, eight, nine, Hold the leg bent on 10 and lift it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it in, bring it down. You can take a break on your hands and knees or child's pose. And the break is now over. Back up. Left leg in the air. Open the hip, bend the knee. Extend the leg in 3, 2, and 1. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold and pulse it. Ten, nine, outer hip. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend the leg, take it down. Bring your knees to the floor. If you can, and you don't have to, you could take a ball between your knees or between your ankles or even higher up. The further away from your center, which is your, like your belly button, the more challenging it is. So the closer to your ankles, the more challenging this will probably be, but um, depending on where you want to put your little bit of focus. So we're back in the downward dog. Ank a ball between the ankles, thighs, knees, wherever you have it. We're gonna come forward to a plank. Lower the knees and lift the legs, do a push-up. Right, they don't have to be a tricep push-up, so you can have your arms wider in your downward dog if you like. All right, so it's a down dog to a kneeling push-up with an ankle, a ball. If you don't have the ball between your ankles, go ahead and put a band on and open your legs a little wider. All right, so lift your hips up in the air. In three, two, one. Come forward, come down, do a push-up, one. Lift up, come back down, do a push up two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just three more. Eight, nine, one more. Ten, and sit back on your heels. All right.
Good. All right. We're going to come up. Let me think. Let me just look and make sure I'm not missing anything on the floor before I bring you up. Quick little check. Um, all right. Come back to the floor for a moment. Put your hands either on the floor or the weights. Now, you might want to choose to go to heavier weights here. I'm also going to choose to come off my mat so I don't move. But put your hands on weights or two yoga blocks or the floor. Bend your knees. Drop your weight back. This is the last um, full leg exercise we're going to do for right now. Step your right leg back. Lift the leg. So we've done something like this. We're going to bring it behind the left knee and curtsy and shoot it right back up in the air. Curtsy. Now, when you curtsy, bring the knee behind the ankle, but don't shoot the hip all the way out to the side. Stay centered so you get that really firm gripping of your inner hip. All right? Hands on the blocks or the ball or even on your bench table. Keep your spine long. Keep your belly and pelvic floor muscles lifted. Right leg is in the air. Left leg underneath the hip. Right leg up in three, two, we go. Kick, curtsy, come down, and kick right back up. One, curtsy, two, curtsy, three, curtsy, four, five, six, get your hips nice and low, seven, keep your chest open, eight, nine, one more, 10, lift, lower the leg, roll yourself up, just give yourself a little break in your back, put your hands on your back and do a little extension. And then fold back down, hands on the block, on the weights or the blocks, left leg behind you, right leg is slightly bent, maybe a lot bent, but keep the weight, so don't bring your foot too far forward, keep the weight in the leg right under the heel, uh, the hip. In three, left leg goes back. Two, one, lift it up. Curtsy. Two, curtsy. Three, four, five. Try to keep the hip like there's a piece of glass on the outside of your right hip. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, bring it in, roll it up. Now, grab some water, take a ball, if you have a small ball, up between your thighs. Have a set of light weights, five pounds and even maybe less is a possibility. Your shoulders are probably gonna get a little tired. All right, so anytime, I love the beach ball, <laughs> yeah. Any port in a storm, it works. All right, so squeeze the ball all the way up. And Maria, I don't know, it looks like you have a little wiffle ball. Okay, so let's go ahead and take your light set of weights. The ball is gonna stay there for a while. Have another light set of weights if you should need it. Bend the knees, tuck the tailbone, pull your chest open, shoulders back. Palms face forward. Now squeeze the ball the whole time. Right? So you're not just doing nothing there. You're squeezing the ball. You're keeping that contraction. Extend your arms forward and bring them back. That's one. Here we go. One and two. So like you're serving a platter. Three. Don't swing it. Four. It's control. There should be no swinging. If you're swinging, it's probably too heavy for you. Five. Six, slow and controlled, seven. Three more. Eight, squeeze. Nine. And 10. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna open the arms out and we bring them back in, okay? So extend, open, and bend in again. Three, two, one. Extend, open, and bring it in. Two, open, bring it in. Three, four. There's a little bit more opening than um, we might be doing later. Three, five, 
six, seven, eight. If I had a step right now, we won't be moving that one. Nine from this music. And one more is 10. Relax, roll your shoulders back and around. Okay, keep the elbows now in by your side. Not resting on your hips, but in by your side. Bend your knees, tuck your tailbone, squeeze the ball three, open the arms out this way, two, one. Now we're gonna keep your arms a little closer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bend your knees more, sit down. Eight, two more, nine, now we're gonna repeat this movement, but we're gonna add an extended arm here, okay? So same movement lower than we did a little earlier. In three, two, one. Open, extend, bring it back to center. Open, extend, two. Open, extend, three. Open, extend, four. By the way, your shoulders are gonna be great tomorrow. Five, we're a, we're a halter. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Now right from here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. How those weights doing? Five, four, three, two, one. Put your weights down for a moment. Just do some wrist circles. Right, take your arms, wrist circles. We're gonna stay with that weight or less, and we're gonna stay with the ball. All right, so the next exercise will be a half lift up and down, okay? Half lift, then we go into a full rainbow arm, okay? So, pick up your weights, lighten them up if you need to. Rotate your shoulders open. Take your arms about shoulder height in three, two, and one. Bend your knees, let's go. 10, nine. When you bring the weights down, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze in, four. If you feel tension starting in your neck, drop the chin. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, 10, now take the arms all the way up over your head. Turn the palms to face forward and then bring them back down. So let's bring the arms into the waistline or to the pelvis, palms forward. When you come up overhead, palms face away from you. All right, in three, two, one. Slow and control, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, work your core here, four, breathe, three more, three, two, keep your arms up on one, one, arms up, bring them shoulder height, one, Two, three, if you're gonna lean, lean forward, don't lean back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Arms out, squeeze them in, out, two, out, three. Use dynamic tension when you let go of weights. Four, squeeze your muscles. Five, relax your shoulders. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take your arms up, bring them down, squeeze them in. One, up. Did I tell you your shoulders were going to get tired? Three, I don't lie, right? Four, five, ooh, six, nice. Seven, 
eight, nine, one more, 10. Bring your arms shoulder height. Open your arms out for 10. Let's go, 10, nine. I don't want to delay it. Three, four, five, six. You can see, I can't see, but that's like seven. I can't see your arms. Eight, nine, 10. Bring your arms in. Woo, roll your shoulders back and around. Hinge forward. Keep the ball. Keep the weight. Start with your elbows bent. Two arms are going to extend the arms both together in three, two, one. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Let your chin come down to your chest to stretch out the neck muscles. Seven, eight, nine. Hold it back, turn your palms up for 10, up and down. Go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now stay back, tap your weights in for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax your shoulders. Go to a light weight or no weight at all. Lighter than if you have five, go to three or two. If you have three, go to two. If you have three, two, nothing, go to nothing. Arms up, roll your shoulders back. All right, palms up, palms down actually. Arms in, small circles, 10. Ready, nine, go. Three, four, only out of the shoulders, five. Six, if your weights are heavy, get rid of them. Seven, eight, nine, reverse the circles. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, happy shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, I saw that face there. <laughs> I saw that face. Okay, now. Take your arms up. When I learned to drive, I believe it was 11 and two on a clock, maybe nine and three. So hold it nine and three or 11 and two. Elbows in front of you. So you're not back here, you're here. <laughs> Just one more thing, guys. We're gonna turn the driving wheel, all right? Turn the driving wheel, ready? In three, two, go. One, don't move your body. You don't have to move your body. I know it feels like you do, two. We'll get there. Three, don't move the hand position. Four, in other words, don't lift your arms, you know, reach up and move. Oh, and I lied, we have one more exercise. Six, now just keep the arms in the same position. Just shift, it's a little complicated to explain. Eight, it's a big steering, it's a bus driver's steering wheel. Nine, is that a whippet? Is that a whip it? ET, 10. And come back in. ET, was that a whip it? Talk to me. Give me a heads up. Yes, I have a whip it too. That's why I knew. Oh my gosh, too. I had, I had great hands and whippets. Okay, um, last thing. Right arm up, left arm down, or left arm up, right arm down. And we're just going to switch for 10. This won't, this won't feel too bad, okay? In three, start here. Two, one. One up, one down, one, two, three. Bend the knees, squeeze the legs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, all right, roll your shoulders around. Take your weights down to the floor, take yourself down to the floor, so adjust your cameras, please. Take the ball with you. We're gonna start with the ball behind the back, sitting up. So you're gonna lean back into it and not pancake it, as I say. All right, since your shoulders are a little tired, 
probably a light, light set of weights, two, three, maybe none. First, we're gonna do no weights. All right, so do no harm. Sit up nice and tall. Have the ball right at the small of your back. Then with a long spine without rounding, just lean back a little bit. A little bit till you feel that action in your center. Right, you're gonna feel your core just have to go, hmm, I gotta do something to stabilize here. All right? So right from here, I want you to lean back and come up. Now, I'm, this is our starting position, so let's take a clock and call this one o'clock. Go down to like 2.30 and come back up to one o'clock, all right? Hold your hand under your thighs, but like really lightly hold, like maybe a fingertip, right? In three, 11 o'clock, uh, one o'clock to 2.30. Three, two, go. Lean back. Come back up. Two. Good. Three. Your hands are just kind of, they're not helping you. Unless you need them to help you. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Now stay in the 230 position. Release your hands to the center. Palms together. You can do Charlie's Angels and lift up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, it's not too big of a range of motion, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now come up and just fold over, keep the ball nearby. And then sit up tall, lean back again. Start with your hands underneath you. Remember, like one o'clock, one o'clock. Take your arms again out in front of you. Take them to the right side. We'll do the same thing on the right side. In three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and you know what's going up. Other side, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center and fold again. All right. Take the ball out for a moment. Take your light weights nearby, lay on your back. Lift your hips up and put the ball under your sacrum and grab your weights. Now, under your sacrum, it'll give you a little tilt in your spine and your pelvis. Let's go ahead, well, let's go ahead and start with the feet down for now. Take your arms up and then bring them down just off the floor. Pump your arms down and up, all right? In three, two, one. So you can use your weights or not. Two, belly and ribs down, three, Four, it's not a big range of motion here either. Five, six is maybe six inches. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, now bring your legs into tabletop. Try it, belly in, extend your arms. Actually, let's, let's keep the arms like this. Remember what we did in the beginning, dead butt? We're gonna do it with just the legs. All right, so belly and ribs down. Arms are like, um, I call them like tin soldiers, right? I don't know why, but tap your feet to the floor and come back up without bending and straightening the legs. They are bent, they're gonna stay bent. In three, two, we go. 10, now if for any reason, straight legs works better for you, go for it, make sure it's okay for your back. Three, or you do a single leg, four, five, Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Whew. Legs up in the air. All right. Alternating leg drops. Right, left leg. In three, two, go. One, two, three. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just do 10 here. Put your feet down for a moment. Adjust your ball again. Come back up because it's going to slide out. Okay, so make sure it's in the right place. Once again, bend your knees. Extend your arms, turn your palms up. See if you can lift your arms from the floor without falling over. Just hold it. Then turn the palms down. Then turn the palms up. Turn the palms down. Palms up, belly and ribs down. Turn the palms down. Turn the palms up. Rotate out of the shoulder. If you fall down, just get your elbow down on the floor. You know, you're very close. Five. Four, three, we like to move it, move it, but sometimes staying still is harder than that. Nine, and ten, oh, relax. Stretch your legs out, release your arms for a second. Stretch your arms over your head. All right, lay on your back again. Stay, I'm sorry, stay on the ball. You don't need the weights right now. Extend the legs in the air. Heels together, toes apart. Bend your knees so that your knees come towards your shoulders. Your heels stay above your knees. So towards your shoulders and then extend your legs out at an angle. All right, so heels together. Start with your legs. You can start with your legs at 90 degrees. Then bring the knees to the shoulder. When you extend the legs, Take them more of an angle, as low as your body will accept. Two. Keep the heels higher than the knees. Three. Extend out. Good. Four. So don't let the heels drop down to your buttocks. Five. Six. Y'all ready for this? Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, extend the legs, open the legs out, bring them in and out. Heels together, two, we're still not at that 90 degrees, we're a little bit lower. Three, four, five, six, seven, combination coming, eight, Nine, ten. Now bend your knees, extend your legs, open and close. One. So a little froggy. Extend two. Frog. Extend three. Belly in. Feel your belly button pull down. Feel your ribs pull down. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring your knees into your chest. Keep the right knee in, extend the left leg, hover it off the floor. Now kick the right leg to the ceiling, stretch it out, and as you do that, bring the left knee to the chest, extend it up, and then switch. So it's a big bicycle where you extend your legs. Arms, uh, legs up, and bend. So one leg drops, one leg comes up. I'm watching you, just wanna make sure we're getting this. Y'all ready for this? So, y'all ready for this? One more and we reverse it. Now, go back towards your face. Extend it. Go back towards your face. So now the extension comes on the leg opening out in front of you instead of up in the air. You bring it back up with a straight leg. Extend it out in front of you. Five, four, can you walk and shoot down? Three, two, and one, bring the knees in. 
Take your feet to the floor, lift your hips up. Good. All right. Take the ball between your legs. Um, feet, excuse me. Feet, ankles. Feet or ankles. Bring your hands right beneath your hips. Pull the belly into the spine. Bring the ribs down towards the hips. Yeah, if you have a second ball, you can just stay on the ball. All right, turn your toes a little bit outward. Hands are supporting your lower back. In three, we lift, drop, two, one. Go down, back up, one. Down, two, belly in. Three, four, you just got 10 of these. Then we do some stretching. Five. We'll do one more thing before we stretch. Then we'll consider it a stretch though. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Pump it up. Nine. And ten. Bring the knees in. All right, do a spinal twist here first. Take the legs over to the left side. And then bring the legs over to the other side. Make my day. All right, bring yourself up and over onto your belly with your small ball. Move your weights out of the way. We're not gonna use them. You're always welcome to it. So get a long extension. Wherever you have your longest space, find that so you can have it. Arms and legs extended out. So your fingertips are on the ball. Legs are um, as wide as your mat, wider than your hips, okay? With your hands on the ball, I need to just get a little bit, I'm gonna have my hands a little bit further on the ball than you should. You should have your fingers all the way out. And then just roll your chest up, bring the ball towards you with a straight arm, and then you're gonna lower it down. Okay, so listen for the cues. Roll the ball to you in three, two, and one. Lift and lower. Keep your head in line with your spine. So just keep looking towards your fingertips. Two, three, four. You gotta push your pubic bone down. Five, now stay here, five. Lower down. Keep your arms extended out and lift just your legs off the floor for five. Ready? Three, two, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now alternating, lift your chest, lower your chest, lift your legs, lower your legs, lift your chest, lower your chest, lift your legs. Three more. Lift your chest, lower your chest, lift your legs. Two more. Lift your chest, lower, one more, and you probably guessed it, but the last five are going to be everything together in four, three, two, go. Five, four, three, two, last one, hold it up, one, tap your heels for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and everything comes down. All right, come back to your child's pose. Keep your arms on the ball or your hand fingertips on the ball and just reach it out in front of you. Good job, guys. All right, this could be a shoeless workout. Um, a lot of shoulders. <laughs> Take your right arm underneath your left arm, turn the palm up, and just reach the left hand on the ball as far out as front of, in front of you as you can. Come on back to center, switch sides. Left hand out underneath your right arm, palm up. And come back to center. Walk both hands over to the right side. And walk both hands over to the left side. Come back to center. Come onto your hands and knees. Well, actually, let's just do a nice little cat-cow here. Arch your back, tuck your toes, dip your belly. 
Exhale, round and curl, top of the foot, shin down. Inhale, extend your chest, hips up. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, come back up. And then cross your left ankle in front of your right ankle, grab your ball again, and sit back behind your heels. So left foot in front of right. If you did the other way, just remember. Walk your hands on the ball out in front of you. Come to your edges of your fingers. Keep your hips like that. Now take your right arm, open it up. You're gonna be on the ball, so you might feel a little weak, you know, movement. Take your arm behind you. Turn your palm up. And then bring it back down. Take your left arm, open to the left side. Take it behind you and open the palm up. Come back in. And then roll up. Switch the cross of your legs. Walk the ball out. And then walk it all the way over to the right side. Take the right arm on it, left arm up and over. Come back up and switch to the other side. Come back up to center, bring both arms up. One more time, reach your arms forward, walk it out. yourself up, just move your ball to the side, bring your legs wide, one hand in front, one, or two hands behind, whatever way you come up. Take your feet wide and just drop your hips, open up, do the best you can. Yeah. Palms to the floor or the ball, straighten your legs, turn your toes forward, hang your head, let it go, shake it out, yes and no. Tuck the chin into the chest, roll up to standing, bring your arms overhead. I'll turn to face you, take your arms up, lean to the right side. If there's anybody who would like to stay for a few, the 10 minute yogi, um, you'll take off your shoes and I'll start knowing. Release your arms and give yourselves a hug. Both arms, both sides, pat on the back. And you guys are done for fitness. If you want to stay for yoga, pull out your yoga mat, take off your shoes, and we will rock and roll in just about two minutes. Countdown, if you're not staying, and I don't see you, have a great rest of your day, but I'd love to see you stay. All right. I, I think, yes, we did. Yes, I know we did Wednesday. Yes, <laughs> bye guys. Uh, no, 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 I'll talk to you later, okay. If you're, oh, unless you're staying. All right, everybody. Anybody staying? Karen, I see. Michelle, I think. Yeah. Maria, E.T. All right. Good. Come into a downward dog when you're there. Oh, hi, little Whippet. What's the Whippet's name? Zephyr? Love it. And, oh, that's a good name for a Whippet. So my whippet's name is Holly because she looks like Halaba. So we named her Holly. Um, they're beautiful. You'll have to tell me more about. You have to tell me who the mommy and daddy of these whippets are. All right. So everybody, come into a downward facing dog. I'm just going to keep the music on just for time's sake. All right. Plus it'll change. All right. Downward facing dog, pedal out your dog before the night is over. If you're on other on your watch, you can keep it. If you want to shift it to yoga, we're only going to be we're going to be bringing back the ten minute yoga here. Shift forward to a high plank, top of a push up, look forward, tailbone down. Exhale, push back to the downward dog. Inhale, push forward. Plank position. Bend your knees or your elbows only. Roll through upward dog. So real quick, you know, we're not, we, we're warmed up. We're gonna get into it. Lift your right leg in the air.
step your right foot between your hands. Hands on the floor or on the blocks. I'll demonstrate blocks. Any height, shoulders back, collar buns broad. And like we just did a moment ago, stretch your right arm back, turn the palm up to the sky, hug your hips in. Breathe, open up, breathe, the space opening in your chest. Shoulders, because we did a lot of shoulders today. Take your right arm up and inside of your right leg. Turn your left toes out, and then spin your right toes over to the left side as well. Come up onto your fingertips or block, lengthen your spine, and exhale, fold over your legs. Take your hands to the outside of your feet, ankles, and then fold in half. Shake out your head, yes, and no. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep breathing. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lengthen part of the collarbones. Exhale, walk your hands back inside of your leg and then shift it outside, step to a high plank, pause, take your chaturanga with your knees bent or straight, your choice, and then lift into an upward dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg in the air, nice and high. Exhale, step it on through, good. Right hand down, left arm up, and then spin the arm back behind you. So open up the palm, open up the shoulder, drop your hips down, breathe in, breathe out. One more breath. Stretch the arm up, bring it inside. And we're gonna turn the right foot, turn the left foot, and you're gonna face alongside of your mat. Fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, this time grab your big toes with your peace finger grip, two fingers and thumb underneath, lengthen your spine. And then elbows out to the side as you shift your hips over your heels. Soften the knees as much as you'd like or need to. Shake out your head, yes or no. And breathe, let it go. One more breath. Inhale, look forward, release your hands, lengthen your spine. Walk around to the front, hands on the inside. And then shift it outside, step back, plank, chaturanga. That's your push-up, or more, or less. Downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg in the air, this time open the hip. Exhale, send the leg through. Turn the left foot in. We're gonna try that stretch again with the right arm up. We're not gonna take it back, we're just gonna take it up. So now the back leg turned in is gonna make this awkward and challenging. So if you have to keep the foot in, or the hip in that neutral position, go ahead and do that. Take the right arm up. And then take the right arm inside. Left arm up. Hug the knee to the tricep. Open the left arm up. Tailbone underneath you. We're going to come up to standing. Inhale, come up. Straighten your front leg and reach back. Take the arm up and overhead. Bump your left hip towards your right side. Inhale, rise up to stand. Take any adjustment of your feet if you like to shorten your stance. Um, heel to heel, heel to instep. Back toes are at about 2 o'clock. Bump your hips left, reach out at 10 minute yoga. We don't have all that much time to get into it, so we get right there. Stack your shoulders. You can use a block on its highest height outside the right calf and lift out of your waistline. Nice, Maria. Good, guys. I just, you haven't lost it in a week, right? Breathe in, breathe out. Rotate the torso open, legs strong, breathe in. Inhale, rise up. Turn to face the left side of your mat, arms behind your back. Interlace your fingers, lift your chest. Exhale, soften the knees and fold over your legs. Head down, arms up. Shake out your head, yes and no. Get rid of any tension. And then let go of the arms underneath your shoulders, lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, spin it around to the front of your room. Step back, high to low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up, open up the left hip. Exhale, send it through. Good, now turn your back foot on its side, right hand stays down, you might use a block. 
left arm comes up, it's an awkward twist, right? So the other way, Karen, right arm down, left arm up, it's a twist into the leg, yeah. And it doesn't feel really comfortable for a lot. So try to bend the left knee as much as you can, rotate. Yeah, if you have to be on the ball of the back foot, you do that. Exhale, bring your left hand down, right arm up. Now it's on the inside. Look down at your left toes. Inhale as you rise up, straighten your front leg and reach up and back. Bump your right hip to the center. Inhale, come back up to standing. Adjust your shoulders over your hips. Adjust your back leg. Bump your hips out and reach your torso out. Like to take a block, take it on the outside on the highest height uh, behind your right calf, or left calf. Reach up, open up all directions. Breathe in, breathe out. Tuck the tailbone right underneath you. Breathe in, breathe out. Mm. One more breath. Look down. Inhale, rise up to stand. Take both feet to face the long side of the mat. Switch the cross of your fingers, lift your chest, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, arms up, head down. Three breaths here. And then release the arms underneath the shoulders, lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, spin it around to the front of your space and step back through plank chaturanga or just to downward dog. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, hip tuck in the air. Inhale, lift your right leg up, open the hip. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right wrist, left knee, right knee to the left wrist, back to the right. Lower the knee to the floor, snuggle your legs behind you. Sit up tall. So bring your hands by your thigh, or if you can, by your hips, or you sit on a block to elevate. Sit up tall here, give back leg a nice release. Breathe in and let go. Then begin to start folding forward. Walk underneath you is great. If you need it, go on your back if you'd like it. You listen to your body and let it tell you where to be. And I just caught myself in the mirror. See, I don't know either. So I just looked in the mirror and I said that my right hip was sinking off to the right side a little bit more. So you want to keep pulling the left hip downward and the right hip level. Take a breath to bring your hands back underneath your shoulders, tuck your left toes underneath you, lift the right leg in the air, open up the right hip. And for those of you who are interested, you can flip your dog over on its side or on its back and lift up. Good. Release it. Right leg back up in the air, knee to chest to just reset. Step your feet down, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and open. Exhale, knee to the center, knee to the left elbow wrist, knee to the right elbow wrist, knee to the left elbow, send your right leg back behind you. And then start with yourself upright. Adjust yourself, so blocks are great. Look behind you, make sure your foot's not sickling. Pull your arms back. Stay as upright as you can for now, breathe. And then start to fold forward. Walk your arms down. Take a few rounds of breath here, just settle in, release. Need some distraction. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, bring your hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes, lift your left leg up, open the hip. Look over your right shoulder and take your dog upside down or on its side. And empty the breath, left leg up, knee to chest, feet on the floor, down dog. Inhale, look between your hands, walk, jump step, bring yourself to the floor. Feet on the floor. Tuck the chin in and roll down to your spine, through your spine. 
Bring your feet in close. We'll do one set of bridge or wheel. Tilt your pelvis. Lift your hips up. We're warmed up. We're ready. Shoulders certainly open. Take your hands by your shoulders if you want to go to wheel. Top of the head, push down to lift up and fully open up your heart. Breathe in, breathe out. If you're in that position and there's anything else you'd like to do, lift the leg. Take your toes in line with your hips, Maria. Yeah, bring it in a little, yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember that ball between the knees before? That's where you should be. And then slowly come down from wherever you are, hug your knees in. Open your arms to a T, shift hip, hip, hips right, knees fall left. <clears throat> and then return to center, move your hips to the left, knees fall to the right. Inhale, return your knees to the center. Extend your legs out, extend your arms up. Get your biggest reach, biggest stretch. Take a big breath in. You're home so you can let out a nice loud roar. Nobody will hear you as you open your mouth like a ah. Arms by your side, hips open. Oh, you're so sweet. And then rest on your mat for a few moments of silence and peacefulness. as you want. 